Damn! Welcome guys to another one-on-one -on -one of the DD Bam Bam Indicator. In today's session guys, we're going to talk about the Fibonacci Indicator. So we are not talking about the alerts. I'm purely looking at where I can put my take profits and stop losses when I do get an alert for the DD Bam Bam Indicator for a long or short. I use the Fibonacci retracement tool to do that and take my targets from the 1 to 0 0.618 0 0.5 and the 0.382 lines. You may choose to use it in a different manner. The choice is of course yours. Here I will show you how you find the retracement tool and how you attach it to the chart and how you position it to get the information I use. So let's bam on. Bam! Let's take a look at this chart as an example of how I use this Fibonacci tool to give me an idea of where to set my take profit or my stop loss. Of course, there are people that will disagree with me and others will agree, but guys, for me, it has been working. I will work with the charts from the 11th of November, like you can see down here at the green arrow, to midnight of the 12th, like you can see at this green arrow. I will add the Fibonacci tool as if I was opening my computer at 9 a.m. UTC on the 12th. So that would be over here, guys. So all I can see on that moment when I open the chart is what you can see now in the overlaid green box in this area. This is what I would see when I open the chart on 9 a.m. on the 12th. This part of the chart was not visible yet, but I'm going to use this later to educate you a little bit more. So let's zoom in a little bit into the chart. First thing to do, guys, is to find the Fibonacci tool that you need. Check this short video on how you find the Fibonacci tool in TradingView, but it is over here in this segment. So when you click the tool, so you can click this small arrow next to this symbol, and then you get all these options. We are going to go for the FIB retracement tool. So you click it, so now your mouse is loaded. The second time now you click the chart, that's your starting point. So let's take this highest wick here on the 11. Then you can extend this Fibonacci retracement tool by just moving your mouse on the chart. And you want to make sure this time this is the zero level is here at its lowest wick on the 11th. You see, the second time you clicked, you get this pop-up menu over here. This is the important menu that you use to delete the tool again. So now we have this lowest point over here, that is around the zero point, the lowest wick on the 11th. And now we need to make sure that the 0 0.78 level is on the highest wick. So we click that one and we pull it a little bit higher like this. And you can see how you can extend the whole tool. So the blue line is on the top now, as you can see over here. This is now how the charts should look like. Remember, if you want to delete this tool now from the chart, the only thing you need to do is you click this area somewhere, for example, this button over here, or that over there, and then you get this pop-up screen. So you click the trash can, and that will remove the Fibonacci retracement tool from your screen like this. As I stated, I am looking at this at 9 a.m. as arrowed on the morning of the 12th. So this point, I'm looking at the chart. This didn't happen yet. I'm opening the PC at this point, guys. So I will put the Fibonacci retracement tool level zero on the lowest wick from the 11th, which is at this point over here. And then I will expand the Fibonacci chart. So the 786 line is on the top of the wick of the highest candle on the 11th, as showed in the image. At this level, this is the 11th, 11th is over here, here is the 12th, so on the highest weight of the 11th is this point. So we need to make sure that we get the zero level over here, you can see the zero over there guys, and we need to get the 786 level, which you can see over here, at the highest wick of the 11th. I then read off my long targets and short targets for the day. Long being up to the top line and shorts down to the 0 0.5 or the 0 0.382 lines.
If I would enter a long, guys, for example, over here, I would put a take profit in this gray area above the 0.786 line. This is the take profit area. If I would enter a short, guys, like over here, I would put the take profit at the 0.5 line, that is this green line, or even a little bit lower at the 0.382 line, which is this line. And like you can see, when I entered this short, it took it to the first target and even to the second target of the 0.382 line. And yes, also when we took a long over here, you can see that the take profit was exactly in this gray area above the 0.786 line. As you can see by the candles to the right of the yellow arrow at 9 a.m., so this is the yellow arrow, to the right, these candles, that the first long would hit a take profit set between 16,000 and 16,161. Where you set that take profit depends on the news of that morning. Is there very bullish news? Of course, will lead me to aim at a higher end of those figures. If they're like very bearish news, I would aim at the lower end of the take profit area. And for example, guys, if I would be in a short from here again, I would set the take profit at the 0.5 level over here or at the 0.3 level over here. Both of these targets, guys, would have been reached. And also with the long, because if I would have entered the long over here, Yes, the profit was also in this area all the way to the top of the Fibonacci retracement tool. And if I didn't win it over here, guys, no fear, because here I could again take a profit from this long. Trading, guys, it's the same like buses. There will always be a next bus to take. So never freak out on the charts, never FOMO, always stay calm and take the next bus if you missed the first one. As you can see on this image, guys, that ends the midnight of the 12th, the Fibonacci, the Fibonacci retracement has been moved up to the 786 line. The area, guys, in this yellow box that now just appeared on the screen is the remainder of the 12th. As you can see on the chart, at this yellow arrow and at this yellow arrow, both of these moments were two extra take profit moments from the previous settings of the Fibonacci tool. And here we can even see in breakout. So yes, after this, this long, again, take profit possibilities in this gray area. And yes, like you can see also here, guys, topping out at the top of the Fibonacci retracement tool and from there again going down. So these levels are very important to keep an eye on because they give you an indication where to put your take profit or your stop losses. I hope you really enjoyed this one-on-one -on -one about the Fibonacci retracement tool and how to use this one in combination with the DD Bam Bam indicator and the margin call stepping line indicator. If you have any questions guys, comment down below the video or go to our Discord server where we can educate you a little bit more on how to use the DD Bam Bam indicator and the Fibonacci retracement tool to set your take profit and stop loss. I want to thank you very much guys for listening again to this one-on-one -on -one training and always remember that if you have some extra time, yes, zoom into the charts. But most part of the day guys, please zoom out on the charts and zoom in at life because it's very important to enjoy life every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life is about. And I am very convinced that if you onboard this DD Bam Bam indicator, that the zooming out on the charts will become much more simple because we are helping you with this indicator and some alarms to give you the indication when to long or short the market so that you don't have to be attached to the screen 24 seven. That is why we created this DD Bam Bam indicator to simplify the trading for you guys. And thanks for watching, hope you enjoy your day and looking forward to see you again in the next lesson about the Didi Bam Bam Indicator. Bye!